Hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. We have this... Um, kind of looks like some kind of Pokemon, but I don't know which one. But also... I'm not sure. It kind of sounds like a rat as well. Uh, I guess we're gonna find out. Let's take it out. Oh, killed something. An elf, or at least. That looks like an elf, definitely not a dwarf. What we got here? The Shelmer's there. Really? Okay, more Shelmars. Oh, that, that's the Shelmar, right. Didn't realize that's how it looks. On the outside. Straves of Spala. Only problem with this guy is that if he doesn't have enough targets, then he actually targets my own guys. Which is not great. Admittedly, that's quite the opposite of great. But it's, it's a short battle, right? We don't know now. <laughs> Kinda nice. I don't need two ways to set fire to everything. Oh, it's gonna be a longer fight. Gigantic Shalmar. Every two turns on third star, give a random unit four armor on turn end. Units with armor gain resilience. Ooh. That's not good. So if I can do some kind of tempo start here. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. Maybe he's gonna be scared. Spawn a harpy. Not the best. I... Maybe he's gonna kill it anyway. Will he get scared because I have too many points? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Turn and Nice. I guess we gotta do regiment drummer. Left, right, left, right. What? I'm in the lead by a lot of points. Respect it. Thing about slings, they hide well. I really don't have to use it right now. Kind of, but if you use it, ha! then you have to use all three. Oh, I need to play in it as well. Maybe set them on fire. This could hurt. Come on, you up. Um, at this point, it's not crazy to keep playing. How about that? Again and again and again. Okay. If I play another unit, I'm not sure if I want to pin something, but that could be okay. I just, I just pass. So again, he doesn't have any. Ooh, actually, he can play next round, and he can play a bunch of resilient units next round. Even, I suppose, even more of a reason. Pass. I can throw one of the strays of Spala. Looking to dance, mate. I'm gonna pass. This is gonna gain resilience. But he passed. He doesn't care. Apparently, that's gonna be resilient, right? Yeah, that's resilient. Oh, that's a pretty big wolf. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. I'll uh, just wait for the other side, man.
move into the other row. This office will be reaping black oh, no. I, I actually it wouldn't work. Oh, that, that actually does work. I need to set them on fire. Like right now. No wall. At the back room. Watch your heads. Fire. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna keep moving stuff into the back. And, uh. Play a drummer. An army's a waste of time for one like me. Just go in the back. Look at this. That back row is just gonna get murdered by fire. More eggs. Oh, it's under biting frost. Oh, it doesn't have that. Uh, we can do a drummer. Oh. My spirit's willing and how also then no other way but I can just play out whatever I want we can play Gabor who plays an ultra thunder but let's just go with the drummer here left I right, can just play my entire left, deck right mm, that's fine yeah, I'll play all my cards Forktail. eating the eggs. Uh, fine. So we're just gonna play the top card here. Maybe it should be Ra Black Rayla. Actually, maybe we should just play Gabor and not play out the Alter Thunder. Because we're gonna play so many cards anyway. And also, we got a Blitz too. Do I even have Blitz in it anymore? Yeah, I do. Maybe we're gonna Blitz. Again and again and again. That's not the best right now. What you looking at? It needs to be deployed. Oh, of course, that's pretty damn powerful, but uh, you gotta time it. Put him in the back. Black Rayla. Get out an Ultra Thunder or and Gabor. Oh, never mind that. We're just gonna get out everything. Too many eggs. Let me just move stuff into the back. We don't really even need Reinhardt here to give us extra charge. But extra charge with the, the Slinger could be good. Okay. They have some units in the deck. You sure about that? Now we're not gonna play a trinket from the deck. We're just gonna do damage. So that's only 15 points. Not incredibly impressive, but as a as a thinner it would be impressive. You could be impressive. And just gain extra charges. I can give extra charges to the slinger. Would that work? Uh, let's not do it right now. That would be kind of crazy. I wonder if that would work. Oh my god. So, Savior gets played. Get into work. Give him an extra... No. Oh, he got two charges. Nice. Uh, let's not use the other one right now. Gotta move this in the back. Hmm. I'm not sure if the guy that deals a lot of damage to all the units, Trace of Spala, is what we need. It's 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 really good. But maybe it's not what we need, because we have so much order interaction here.
slinger again. <laughs> okay. Ever have a stone knock out one of your teeth? Um. Do that. And he actually recharges their their order, which is crazy. Nice. Lowest ally by the highest ally. Um, that's not too bad. We got a six that can get boosted by twenty-two. It's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. We must trust each other. Oh God, even he gains a charge. Jesus Christ. You can just play the laser from the deck. That's not that great. Yeah, that's definitely not great. Yeah, I don't have to use my charges now. There's nothing to get out. You seem to be in a tough spot, mister. The stray slingers are in a tough spot because they need to target three units. Of course, it doesn't matter now, but still, you don't have enough units to target. Fine. Thirty-nine points. Uh, ultimately, that was pretty damn good. Uh, you lost it big time. <laughs> oh my god, he's dead. Oh, he, f he fell over. Not bad. Get up. Easy peasy fight. People of the hills. We hereby order 5 barrels of cured beef, 40 links of juniper sausage, 5 sides of pork, 10 dozen goose eggs, 20 sacks of rye flour. Payment issued in gold. Warning. Goods must be tightly packed so as not to attract monsters. We bear no responsibility for accidents. Alder Vavrinak of Clan France. Okay. Why does it take forever to up? I don't care. Okay, let's see what we have. What we have here. Uh, should I update my deck? Anything that's order seems to be the style we want. Yeah, order is amazing. I think technically... Yeah, maybe we're just gonna go with full-on slingers and no strays of Spala. Even though it seems amazing on paper. But in practice, who cares? <laughs> Recharge the charge. God. What is this? Pretty obvious deck here. Uh, we're gonna put in some Straits of Spala if, if we need it, but yeah, I don't think we're gonna need it. At least it doesn't look like we're gonna need it, but it's something to consider, just in case. We're not using it because the enemies are just not strong enough. But if the enemies become ridiculously strong, I guess we're gonna need it. But I suppose at this point then we might as well use either because it doesn't matter. What to Boros Rump? Like a cheap uh, brothel. Can't go there. I guess we're just gonna turn around, check this out, then we go through the bridge. <clears throat> oh, me, if you gotta pick that up, can't miss out on that. Log. Oh my god, another log. Hey, peasant. The dwarves are demanding a pretty sum, but their steel's worthy of any crown. Oh. We got uh, nothing there, and also we got some loot. Even. Wow. Okay. That's it, just some logs. It's a problem there's nothing else here. Oh, we're stuffed to pick up. I think I'll at this well, I already made that uh, statement, but I'm just not going to do puzzles. I, I don't like him. Or at least 
Sometimes they're okay, but I, I just don't really like like him, so we're just gonna pretend that they're not there. I did like some puzzles, but usually they are just uh, not great. <clears throat> How is this possible? Madness. Pure madness. Ever looks exactly the same. How am I supposed to remember? So many corridors, shafts, and chambers. How to keep moving? And then what? I don't remember. Treasure? But what kind? Sure. Well... I'm not really a mining expert myself, but... I think they have some tricks. And But most of all, they... They just spend a lot of time there. Your Majesty, the human traveler, traveler, he's offered to sell us a treasure map. Says he sought it out once, but he got caught in a blizzard and now fears to return to the mountains. Yet he swears by the gods, should we follow it exactly, we shall uncover unto riches. Okay, but how do you know? How do you know for sure? You know what, I'm just gonna buy your bed drawing just for Lewis. No shit. Um, great. Mine entrance, before that, and a, and a house. We did go past the mine entrance, so would this mean? So, it's possible that if we go back, we will find what we are looking for. Is this it? No, it doesn't quite look that way. Nah, it's not it. I suppose... Well, that's at least somewhat distinguishing. Because a mine entrance is a lot more common than just a tree. Because that's what we had in the past. Many times. A mine entrance and next to it, uh, a house. Okay, fine. It's not the best, but it is something to go on. Because mine entrances are quite common here. Hey, dwarfs! Um, let's just talk to you guys. Meave noted a crowd of dwarves. They were several dozen, many holding baskets brimming with dried sausages, soft, puffy pretzels, and jugs of frothy beer. What is this gathering? She asked Gabor. These folk! They're the parents of youngsters who are to return today from the break thing. Brackthag? What is that? Gabor proceeded to explain that the Drekthag was a trek upon which the local dwarves would embark when they reached maturity. During this year-long voyage, young folk would taste of life beyond their home. Yet if they failed to return on time, they would be stripped of all rights and privileges accorded to Mahakam's natives. See, in recent years, young folk's blood's been boiling on account of the strict laws in force here. Gabor added. So. We send them out. Let them taste life in the lowlands. Once they've learned for themselves what it's like to live among humans, they come back and ain't likely to complain. <laughs> Damn. Actually quite smart. Yeah, okay. Customarily, only a few dwarves ever decided to remain in the valleys for good. That year, however, was different. Deadline's the Mora. And 40 Drake Thaggers still have not returned. Their parents now worried if some misfortune had not befallen them. The Mahakaman Guard had sent out patrols to the near reaches of the valleys. They returned not having seen anything distressing, while the humans living at the foot of the massif had been largely unwilling to talk. The guard captain, a dwarf with a fiery red beard, removed his helmet, wiped the sweat from his brow, and addressed me. Your Majesty, we need to find our youth. Perhaps you'd be willing to go out and search. Human folk are more like to tell you if they saw anything out of the ordinary of late. Naturally, there'd be something in it for you too. Oh, that, that, that sounds good. That sounds... Very nice. I'm interested. Drag. Well, no, he's not drag tag. But it, it is it says it does say that drag tag. <clears throat> anyway, well, the problem, the possible problem with this uh, uh, custom is that 
it's kind of based on how prepared these people are to face the drag tag. Because if they are not, they, they could be in big trouble. Because, you know, do you want to send out your children so they die? Obviously, you should prepare them. But if they're not prepared... And you could be... Well, I don't know. I guess uh depends on how much you care. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look for those drawers, obviously. One could say I myself have lost a son. Neve gripped the captain's hand firmly. And I know well the pain that comes. I shall do all in my might to spare you at least that. Neve set off, the hopeful gazes of the dwarven parents bidding her farewell. The queen sent a scout ahead. Sometime later, she heard his horn. Three blasts. Two short, one long. An ambush! Neve expected to combat beasts or robbers. Yet upon her force descended warriors with squirrel tails attached to their helms. Scoia tail. No! I'm going out to save the dwarves, but apparently I will end up murdering them. Hopefully not. Maybe I will just give them a good whooping. It's a standard battle, so we gotta be careful with the dectoning. Also, Thunder is kind of trash. Skyatel! Don't let them escape! Well, I guess we tried to win round one. You should not have come here. Oh, that's a good card, I guess. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. Maybe. Oh. Come on. You will not use it, right? I. Oh, he's using it right away. Fuck. The Scoia teller of plague. They blight all they touch. My spirit's willing, and how the. These damn boots are killing me. That's pretty good. Come on! Who's I got a problem here. I need to win round one. You mad? Don't shake that! Interesting. Again and again and again. We're gonna pass. Yeah, I don't wanna thin my deck too much. We can play two cards here. I think we want to play two cards here. A time to sow and a time to die. Are we gonna alter thunder next? Oh, my little day. Not great. That makes Black Rayla stronger. Fine. I shall not fail. No elf unit is destroyed. I just pass. Long Grand Free. My favorite. Oh, we still got some boosters. Yeah, this would be holy crap. I guess we want to establish this in the death, last row. One. This could hurt. I just punch it. Black Rayla and play. None shall tread on us. Any card, which could be Gabor, and Gabor is only a fifteen. 
Edgabu is kind of like a deck dinner as well. I can play a trinket. I just go with Black Rayla on the front. Enough chit chat. Draw your weapon. Actually, I probably should have played Lyria Merlot. See who is weak. We can play any card from the deck. It's probably better if we play a, a Regiment Drummer, because that's gonna play anything. And also, Reynard Udo is gonna synergize with that. We can also give her extra charges, I believe? Let's see. What if I play Xavier? Fear not! We shall achieve our goal! That's ridiculous. Left, right, left, right. Okay, we probably should just uh, slow down with that. Yeah, no royal decree. Yeah, that's gonna play everything we got. I'll just throw these guys back. I get enough charges. Now <laughs> so we stick together. Stray slingers. Damn it. Just play anything. Yeah, this. Yeah, we probably have too much now. Hi. Um. I've done a jiffy. Gotta use him for damage because we have too much deck thinning. Um, we're just gonna Thing play it slings. and not do anything. Well. Um, I still gotta play a card. Let's go, Slinger. I got a bunch of Slingers. Everything all right? Wait, what? Actually, I can damage that. So I can use my Lyria Merlot to save this a little bit. Maybe we do that. Actually... Adjacent units by six. So let's say we move this. And the Royal Decree. This guy. Again and again. And this guy. And again. Then maybe we move that. Oh, that's a deck thinner. I have so much deck thinning. It's not good. Oh, maybe I should have the card that actually puts more cards in my deck. <laughs> because I'm thinning so hard. No, no, no. That's 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 maybe what we're gonna do. I don't know. The thing is, it would make more sense than what I have right now. Because all cards I have are just... Trash? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll consider it. If anyone's got any hooch left. There's an army's wasted time. I'm thinning the deck so thing. hard. Okay, you can, you can just keep playing Never slingers. Storm, knock out one of your teeth. Depleted order, but their order would need to be depleted. They used to tire my tongue about that. I'm good. Oh yeah, that's that's fine. Ah! Right, I've hit the white of an eye from half a league away. Now we must stick together. Gobber's kinda weak. Oh. Yeah. Alright, that's Fine. 
Unless I save the... Well, we're just gonna win anyway. Can try to save the Stray Slinger. Unless it's gonna die to the Frost. Do I actually care? Or do I not? Not really. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. They're just dying way too much. Oh my god, Black Rayla 22. Pretty good! Had your kneecaps broken. Lowest damage enemy unit. <laughs> um. Punch him. Delirium Merlot. 28 points. That's kind of worth it. Not great. Elven Blarney. Reynard Odo. Discipline shall bring us victory. Really? Black Rayla 26. Okay. Please, let me pass. I managed to win. Oh, so young. No wonder they were easily manipulated. Yeah, but they still tried to murder us. So... As soon as the battle had come to an end, the prisoners were brought before the Queen. All, without exception, were dwarves. And all looked to be youthful dwarves. Mystery solved, muttered Meave. In fact, these were the missing Drekthagas. Instead of returning home, they had enlisted with guerrillas fighting for non-human rights. But what had prompted so drastic a decision? I was impatient. Wanted badly to turn 50. I couldn't wait to see human cities. Vitsima, Tretigor, Novigrad, said one of the dwarven prisoners while pressing a bandage to a bleeding wound. And you know the welcome that awaited me there? I was spit upon and called names. I saw ghettos, massacres, and how was I to go back to the mines after that? We must fight while we still can. Before the humans come to cut us down, we must tell the rest of ours the same. Pull all Maha come into the fight. Yeah. Yeah, what thing is, slaughter, I know it's injustice, but... Killing people is not better. Neve soldiers stood waiting for her to protest, to accuse the dwarf of lying. But the queen could not pretend she did not understand why the dwarf had taken up arms. Without entering into a discussion, she ordered the prisoners taken to be tried and judged by their kin and elders. Along her way, Meave heard cries. She rushed to see what the ruckus was about. Upon seeing Black Rayla spattered with blood, she expected the worst. Reynard could only confirm the Queen's fears. She entered the wagon unnoticed. The wagon carrying the prisoners. She then cut their throats, one by one. Forty dwarves. Alone. They were shackled. They could not defend themselves. Oh no. Rayla had nothing to say in her defense. In point of fact, she exuded pride. Mahakam had been free of Scoyatel. Till now, we'd have done all a questionable favor by bringing back a wagon full of enraged youth wearing squirrel tails. They'd have posed as martyrs for a just cause. They'd have shown off their scars and persuaded the clans to make war on humans. All that deserved to be nipped in the bud. Black Rayla, come on. I know you're a little bit kill crazy, but this is getting too much. Also, you're just going against my orders. Meave could see the blood rushing to Reynard's head. When he finally spoke, it was clear he was holding the reins of his emotions, preventing himself from exploding with some difficulty. Your Grace, we must banish her, drive her off. This was in no way ordinary insubordination. This was a grave crime. Your Majesty, you know I rarely meddle in your affairs, said Isbel. Yet for this, I cannot remain silent. This woman must go. Fuck. 
She's she's very good, but also at the same time, god damn it. I suppose this is a decision of like if we let her remain, then Isbel and probably Reynard is going to leave me. At very least Isbel. But let's just ignore her uh, usefulness in a fight. This was just this was just uh, gruesome. So I guess we just have to uh, order her to leave. Rayla, tis a fine line that separates a soldier, a warrior, from one who commits murder. Said Meve. That line you crossed today. You are to leave my ranks immediately. And never do I wish to see you again. Rayla said nothing. She merely bowed in an excessively courtly manner, then moved off down the slope. Yet even once she disappeared, a clear red trail remained in the snow where she had passed. A trail of dwarven blood that had dripped from her armor. No! The Lyrians remained silent throughout their return. Upon spying their downcast eyes and somber means, the dwarves awaiting the return of their offspring dispersed to their homes, leaving baskets full of treats in the snow. No one asked any questions of Meave. Luckily so, as the queen would not have known how to answer. <laughs> Damn. Now we need to uh, change the army as well, because... Black Rayla is gone, and Black Rayla was actually the MVP of the last fight. Uh, she was really good. But, I think just purely from a, a, a role-playing standpoint, we just can't let her stay. I'm just not that... kill crazy myself. So we need to look at what we're gonna change, but probably not right now. No, no, no. Accident lose the changes? Let's continue the thing. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll set up the decks for next time, and, uh, yeah. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.